Though Arizona is a desert state, 1% of the state is made up of wetlands. And according to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, that's, that's a number that has been dwindling since the 1800s. Arizona Game and Fish Department is trying out a new technique to restore these ecosystems. Kagan Nines, Alex Dowd, journeyed into the southern Arizona wilderness to bring us the details. The sounds of the San Pedro River Valley are a sign of success for Arizona game and fish wildlife specialists. We've seen a native cottonwood and willow trees, saplings just rebound and just take over. And we've had species come back in that we haven't seen in, in years in certain stretches of the river. And they give some of the credit to a few of their newer teammates. A pair of beavers taking the two from a life of delinquency. They were blocking irrigation ditches and they were blocking drainages and flooding areas that didn't need to be flooded. To use their building expertise for good. This beaver built up this dam just in the last couple weeks and has really ponded the water back. So maybe like another few hundred meters back, it, the water was only a couple feet wide. Now it's like five to six feet wide. And flowing one to two miles longer. That water sprouting more plants and drawing animals to the riverbanks. In the hot months of the summer, since we have surface water, you'll see animals come down from the uplands and they'll uh, come down here to drink water. So like it'll get dry in the mountains and the foothills and they're looking for any water source and this is one of the biggest ones down here. The beaver's length of stay on the San Pedro is up to them. They move around and shift as the river shifts and forage value shifts and floods move them around. But wildlife specialists hope they'll stay co-workers for just a little bit longer. From the San Pedro River, Alex Dowd, Kgun 9.